Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles AFC Daily with me, Harry Simeu. Sky Sports News understand, and I fucking hate when they use that phrase, that we are monitoring 21-year-old CSK Moscow striker Fedor Shalov. Now this, to me, is a completely new one. Not a player that was on my radar whatsoever. But when you look at his record last season, it reads pretty well. 17 goals and 7 assists. Now if you cast your minds back, he did score against us last season when we met CSKA in the Europa League. And that's normally enough to trigger the Sky Sports Understands thing, isn't it? Um, Who knows? Look, nothing concrete on this one and nothing to suggest that this is anywhere near close to happening uh, at the minute. But we'll keep you posted, of course. A Gazetta journalist claims Arsenal are interested in bringing Gianluigi Buffon to the club as a backup to Bern Leno. I think it's safe to say he's been smoking something. That would not make any sense whatsoever. As great a goalkeeper as he was, is even, the wages he'd demand would be a hindrance and limit us in our pursuit of other targets. I mean, I might just make up a random rumour myself, post it on Twitter and see who picks it up. Christopher Nkunku of PSG continues to be linked with a move to North London. L'Equipe have listed the midfielder as one of the players the French champions are looking to offload this summer, along with Mounier, who we spoke about yesterday, Levin Kazawa and Julian Draxler, you know, the guy that we seem to have been linked with every window for the last decade, uh, make up the rest of the list. Now, Ornstein, who everybody calls the Ornicle, uh, reckons Arsenal tried to bring Nkunku in last January, and so there could well be some substance to this one, but of course time will tell. William Saliba is another player we continue to be linked with. We're reported to have a concrete interest in the St Etienne man, but City, United and Southampton are in the mix too. Now the talk is that St Etienne would be willing to sell if he was loaned back for the season, but in our case, that just wouldn't work. I mean, we're hardly in a position to spend money on players for the future, and I think that if that is the type of deal that St Etienne are after, I doubt Arsenal will follow through on this reported interest. Alexis Claude Maurice, the Lorient man and close friend of Matteo Guendouzi, is another player who continues to be linked. According to Get French Football News, Arsenal already went in with an initial bid that was rejected and are expected to go back in with an improved offer in the coming days. Now, our strong relationship with Lorient may help in getting this done, but Eintracht Frankfurt are said to be keen too, having sold Luka Jovic to Real Madrid. I doubt money will be an issue for them. So how good is this Alexis Claude Maurice? And if I'm honest, I don't know anything about him. Um, I've read a couple of bits and pieces, a couple of articles um, on various websites. I think one of them was on Gunnerstown, um, talking about Alexis Claude Maurice and you know, his sort of strengths and stuff. For me, you know, if we're going back into France, into the, the second division to pick up players, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? We're bringing Reese Nelson back. We're bringing um, young players through. Is this a worthwhile buy? I don't know. I've got to be honest. I can't sit here and tell you anything about the guy. I, I don't know. Um, but it seems a bit of a strange one to me. It feels like uh, it's another signing for the future. Uh, and that's great and all. And you want to see the team have a long-term plan and building for the future but I think Arsenal need that type of player right now someone who's ready to come into the team and do the business straight away not saying he's not but from what I've read uh, he seems like a a very young exciting prospect very much like Matteo Genduzzi Um, so I'm not sure where a lot of the excitement comes from on this one but um, as I said I could be completely wrong so fingers crossed if it does get done he does the business, of course. Right, if you haven't already, you can catch up with last night's fans phone in. There were some great callers. It's available on YouTube, iTunes, uh, SoundCloud, Spotify, all the usual podcast places. And uh, we're going to continue to be bringing you the Chronicles AFC daily around about lunchtime each day. Uh, so do stay tuned and subscribe, like, do what you got to do. And uh, thanks for your continued support. Until tomorrow, take care.